Welcome to Food Fights. Today we're going to be comparing these two brands of chili. On the left, weighing in at 15 ounces, is Hormel's Chili with Beans. And on the right, also weighing in at 15 ounces, is Wolf Brand Chili with Beans. Who doesn't love canned chili? I know I love canned chili. Hormel, as it stands right now, is the standing champion. And Wolf Brand, I may have had it in the past, but I don't remember if I liked it or not. So this is going to be a lot of fun to see which one of these two cans of chili is the best. For the Hormel, I paid $1.85 for this 15-ounce can, and that works out to $0.12 cents an ounce. For the Wolf Brand, I paid $1.50 for this 15-ounce can, and obviously that works out to $0.10 cents an ounce. It just says chili with beans. It doesn't say anything about meat on here. So let's see if there's any meat on here, which is really important to me. So on the Hormel, let's see. Ingredients, beef and pork. So that sounds good to me. Let's have a look at the Wolf brand and see if there's any meat in there. The meat ingredients is beef and pork, and that's the first ingredient. So that sounds pretty darn good there. I'm even more so looking forward to this Wolf brand chili with the meat being the first ingredient on there. As for the packaging, the can on the Hormel is nice. It's got that pull top. The Wolf is just a regular can, which for some people might be a big deal. For me, it's not that big of a deal, but I like the gold. That looks cool. As for the labeling, I think the Hormel still wins. It's got a nice looking label there. The chili on the can just looks better. And I know the picture isn't necessarily accurate to what's inside, but that just looks better than the Wolf brand. But as always, what's most important is what's inside these cans. So I say we crack these open and see how these things smell and then how these things taste. So let's start off with the Hormel and crack this open and see what this looks and smells like. And oh man, that looks good. I can't even smell it yet, but mm, oh man, that really looks good. All right, let's go for the Wolf brand and see how that looks. And that sounds thicker when I'm opening it. Oh my gosh, that is really interesting. That's two completely different looking chili recipes. And right now, I mean, just the way it looks, I'm gonna say the Hormel looks better just because I can see the beans and stuff in there. And this just, yeah, it does say with beans. This, this, the Wolf brand almost looks like chili without beans. So there's a lot of, maybe the meat is a lot finer in there. I don't know, but I know we really can't judge by how it looks just in the can. So let's give these a smell and see which one of these two smell better or worse. Ah, that Hormel smells really good. I can smell a bean in there. Can certainly smell the spices. All right, let's smell the Wolf brand and see how that smells. Really, I'm not getting a whole lot of smell there. The Wolf brand doesn't smell nowhere near as spicy. I'm gonna smell this again. Not a whole lot of smell. I'm gonna try the Hormel brand one more time. Now the Wolf. Yeah, the Hormel just smells a whole lot better. I'm actually getting a good chili and a good spice smell from that. And I'm not getting a lot of smell from the Wolf brand. So this is gonna be interesting to see which one of these two are gonna taste the best. So I say we heat some of these up and give them a try. Here we go, we got these heated up, and of course, the Hormel is on the left, and the Wolf brand is on the right. And right away, I can see a huge difference between these two. Look at that Hormel, there's a whole lot of beans in there, and some nice chunks of meat. The Wolf brand, on the other hand, it just looks like it's mostly sauce. Uh, very few beans, and no big chunks of meat in there. And I try to get as much of that in here from the, uh, from the can as possible. And uh, it's looking pretty thin. It's just mainly the sauce. That don't mean it tastes bad, but it is possible you want a chili that's uh, rather saucy. If you want to dip crackers or put crackers in there or something, that would be more like what you'd expect to be putting crackers in. And where this is just something that you, it seems like to me, you would just eat right out of the bowl. All right, so let's see how these two taste. First of all, I'm gonna start with some of the meat. I'm gonna start with a piece of the meat of the Hormel. And look at that, that's a nice, chunk of meat there. So let's try that and let's see if this is actually in fact real meat. Mm. Oh wow, that is really good. I mean that is real meat. That looks good and it tastes good. So let's see if I can find a chunk of meat in the Wolf brand. And I'm having a little trouble finding, is that meat? There we go. No, that's a bean. All right, I'm still looking. Is that meat? That may be meat. I don't know. Nope, that's a bean. So it looks like on the Wolf brand, the meat is just finely ground up into the chili itself. I'm not really seeing any bits of meat, maybe just little teeny tiny. 
I would hate to save them bits of meat. I'm saying specks of meat. I'm just seeing specks of meat here. I think I'm gonna have to forego. Oh, here we go. There's our little piece of meat. So there's our piece of meat on the end of the spoon. So I'm gonna try the piece of meat from the Wolf brand. That meat too is good. There's just so little of it. That's very disappointing. But the chili sauce tastes pretty good. All right, let's try a spoonful of the, the Hormel. I'm gonna try to get some beans and some meat in there. And that's looking good. So let's try this and see how this tastes. Mm. That's a nice full flavor. That's a good uh, tasting chili. Uh, it's not really spicy though. If you're liking a spicy chili, I don't think this is gonna be it. I mean, there's certainly spices in it, but when I mean spicy, I mean, this isn't spicy hot. It has spices, it certainly has the, the chili powder or whatever in there, it has all the flavorings in there, and that is a really good flavor. It's just not very hot. So let's try to get a spoonful here of the Wolf's brand and see how this tastes. Obviously, there's gonna be some little bits of meat in there, and we've got quite a few beans in there. So let's, let's give this a taste. Mmm, wow, that's really good too. It's completely different. Well, maybe not completely different. It's definitely more spicy. And I think I'm getting more flavor in the chili sauce itself. Wow, that's a really good flavor. All right, let's go back to the Hormel and try that again and see how that is. Got a big old monster spoon of that. Let's try that. Mm, that's a good flavor. Actually, I'm getting mostly bean flavor for me, which is not bad. I love uh, chili beans, but let's go back to the Wolf brand. And that Wolf brand's tasting pretty good. Let's try this one more time. Let's go with the Wolf brand here. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. These are both really, really good. To tell you the truth, this is going to be a hard decision. And I don't know if, wow, now that spiciness is kicking in. Ah, oh, that is really, really nice. I don't know if we have a winner here. I don't know. I'll give you my analysis here in just a second. These are both really, really good canned chilies. And this is a really hard judgment to make here. This is a really hard call. They're two completely different recipes. Neither one of these is trying to copy off the other. They're both unique and they're both their own recipe. Tell you what I do like about both of these. I do like all the beans and the meat that's in the Hormel. There's just a lot more beans and a lot more meat in the Hormel chili. The Wolf's brand, there's nowhere near as many beans or nowhere near as much meat in there, but that chili sauce is really, really good. I'm gonna say these are both really, really equal, and it's hard for me to determine which one of these would be better, and I don't think I don't. Okay, here's the winner here. Here is the winner. What I think would be the perfect scenario, the perfect situation, would be buying both of these and mixing them together. And I think if you've done that, you mix both of these together, you're gonna have one darn good pot of chili there. And I'm serious. These two mixed together, I think is just gonna be totally awesome. The sauce of the Wolf's brand is really, really good. It's exceptional to the Hormel. But the Hormel has really, really good beans and really, really good meat in there. So like I say, both of these together, and you're the winner if you uh, try that. So I, I, seriously, I would say try this and tell me what you think about that, mixing both of these together. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna see how that tastes. So thank you for watching Food Fights and please subscribe so we can continue to try it before you buy it. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.